Hey everyone, I'm Miss Heim. I'm going to be teaching Algebra 2 at Bishop Seabury this year. It's going to be a little bit unique because I'm actually going to be working from home the entire year, so this class officially is an online math class. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to show you kind of how this class is going to be broken down and how things are going to work. So when my kids go to their Algebra 2 class, this one happens to be my ninth grade Algebra 2 class, um, when they go into their class they're going to see a bunch of folders set up for each week. So we just finished last week. And basically what I do is I pre-record all lessons and for the entire week and I upload them into a folder. So I do little video lectures of myself working through problems and I put them in the folders and then I go ahead and put on the outside of the folder kind of the, the expectations that I have for my kids during the week in terms of what they should be working on daily. So for instance, on Monday, for last week, I had them watch section 1.1 video and do the corresponding practice problems. So they kind of get an overview of what they're going to be doing that week just by looking on the outside of the folder. When they go to the inside of the folder, um, they'll have my video links for the actual sections themselves. And sometimes I'll put up extra diagrams for them um, just for content or whatnot. Go down a little bit further, I have another folder created on the outside of the folder. I put the section problems, the practice problems that I want them to do with the videos. So if they're watching section from chapter one, section one, then they need to do the section 1.1 practice problems in their ebook. All kids should be able to get online to their, their ebooks at this point uh, so they can do that. My videos are typically 22 to 25 minutes long on average, usually 20 to 22 minutes long. My goal is for them to kind of watch the video and then spend about 20 minutes doing homework. So I'm hoping that my kids will be spending really no more than 45 minutes a day on math. Um, on harder concepts or on days when we have harder concepts, they may have to push that to an hour total. Um, but I don't really want to go much over that because I don't want my kids to be overwhelmed with that. So, uh, so that's kind of how it works. If I, after they put up their or they do their practice homework and things like that. I don't actually collect all of their practice work. Um, I create graded homework assignments and I'm gonna do on average two per week where I do one midweek and I do one at the end of the week just to assess um, that they are understanding what are in the videos and the problems that I've gone over. So, and those assignments look like this down here. They're gonna have a little, little piece of paper with a pencil on it and it's gonna say graded homework. So for instance, last week their first one was literal equations. So they submit that to me on Schoology or through email. And then I grade it by hand, step by step. I give them feedback on the problems and then I, I will post solutions after I've received all those homework. I'll post handwritten solutions for them to look at as well um, so that they can have access to that throughout the year. So that is kind of how I have the course set up for everything in terms of videos and homework. Um, kids are welcome to ask me to help them, you know, in individual Zoom sessions if they're having trouble understanding some of the videos. Currently, I check in with kids twice a week. And um, if they have questions or they're stuck on something, they're welcome to stay with me on during that class period and I can go over problems with them or go over different things that were in the video. And when they get back to campus, that's kind of going to be how it's set up as well. I'm going to check in with them daily. And if they're struggling with something, I will stay online with them and teach them live uh, over some of the videos and things that I spoke about. So uh, otherwise, kids are, they really have the option to kind of be independent. Uh, for kids that want to move ahead a little bit, they're able to do that because all the coursework is already up. Uh, for kids that are struggling maybe a little bit, they can, you know, have a little bit more flexibility to slow down and rewatch a video or stop and start a video you know, do whatever they need to do. So I'm hoping that this year goes really well. Um, I'm really excited to work with your kids. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me at jacquelynheim at seabarryacademy.org. If you want to talk on the phone, that's perfectly fine as well. Just shoot me an email and I'll give you my personal number. But like I said, I'm looking forward to this year and looking forward to working with your kids. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. So I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.